In this video I'll show you where to get templates, icons, fonts, images and color palettes for your presentations. This video is not sponsored by any of these websites. So let's start with PowerPoint and Google Slides templates and I really like this website called Slides Go. So in your browser just go to slidesgo.com and here you have a bunch of templates that you can download. Some of them are premium and they're marked with this little crown here, but the rest of them are free. Just be mindful that there's a limit as how many you can download for free before having to sign up for their premium plans. But essentially you just need to find the one that you want to download. And here you'll see exactly which slides you're gonna get. You'll also find some instructions for fonts and colors and stuff like that. But essentially, you just have to go to the drop down here and select if you want to download it for Google Slides or for PowerPoint. So let's use Google Slides as an example. And here you'll see that you can edit the text, the images, the colors, and everything's pretty much done. And I think the designs are really fun and colorful. And I really, really like these templates. The second one is called Slides Carnival, and it's exactly the same as Slides Go, but the difference is that you can download this template for Canva as well, and that some templates are already animated. So again, if I open this file in Google Slides, you'll see that everything is pretty much set up and you can just add your content and you're done. There's no limit as how many you can download and everything is free. The next one is called Envato Element and they're not sponsoring this video, but I have an affiliate link in the description box. And if you choose to sign up, I will get a small commission that will help this channel. And they have over 50,000 templates for your presentations, for Keynote, for Google Slides, for PowerPoint, and these templates are next level. These are professionally designed, and some of them already include icons, and the best of all is that they have a monthly plan. So for $16 a month, you can download as many assets as you like. And they also have videos and graphics and music and sound effects, and you get access to the full library. And there's a special discount for students, so make sure to check that out. And of course, the last website to download templates is my own, lurutiappt.com. And here you have a library of free templates and you just need to sign up with your email and you'll get access to all of my free templates. Just pick the one that you like and click on download and that's it. And I also have some premium templates and these are my most popular templates. So I got the Netflix and the Instagram and the Spotify templates. So make sure to check those out. And now let's move on to images and videos. My favorite website for images is called unsplash.com and all of them are free except for the ones that say Unsplash Plus. You'll need to have a membership to download those. But honestly, the free selection is amazing. These are all community based and really high quality images. And the only thing that you need to do is to select your image, click on it and hit the download free button here at the top. And just like that, you just downloaded a high res image. The next one is pexels.com. And here you have a massive selection of images as well. But something that I really like about this website is that you can download videos as well. There's a big selection of videos and to look for them, you just have to change the option here to videos and search for a term and you're done. You have all of these options to download. The last website for images is called Pixabay. And what I really like about this one is that they have illustrations as well, not only videos, and photos and you can download vectors as well and they got a bunch of options from patterns to characters to animals etc and they also have a videos section if you hover your mouse you'll see the preview 
and they also have royalty free music from this tab right here and even sound effects which is absolutely amazing. Let's move on to fonts which is probably one of my most asked questions. Where do I get fonts? Well the first website is obviously Google Fonts and here you have a massive library of fonts and you can filter them by style or by property etc. So for example I'll pick a handwritten font and let's say that I want to download um, this one. So here you have the preview, you have all the styles that you're going to get if you download the family. If you want to preview how your text will look, you just have to write the text that you want to preview here and you'll see in real time how will it look. And if you scroll down a little bit further, here you'll see how it looks in different sizes and how does it look um, in a paragraph. And the next thing that you'll do is just click on download family and install it in your computer and that's it. The next website is called dafont.com and here you can pick a category and these are all user generated fonts. So for example, let's click on this one and here you'll see all the characters. You can also see their more popular fonts. Just know that because they're user generated fonts, some of them might have copyright issues. So some of them are for personal use only and you might need to purchase an additional license if you want to use it in a commercial project. Apart from that, I think that this website has some pretty cool fonts. So make sure to check it out. The next website is actually Behance.net. Here you can search for the word fonts and if you click here on downloadable assets, you'll have all of these options for fonts and some of them are paid, but if you filter um, the free fonts from this panel right here, you'll see all of the free fonts that you have available and these are all designer made fonts, which is absolutely incredible. And to download them, you just have to click on the font that you want to download and it'll take you to a page where you can kind of preview how it would look like. And to download it, you just have to go to this panel right here at the bottom, click on it, wait for it to download and install it and you're done. Now let's move on to icons. The first website is called thenounproject.com and here you'll see all of the categories that you have four icons. They also have some photos, some textures, but let's say that you click on the fall icons, for example, and we'll pick this awesome pumpkin. And here you can personalize, you can change the colors, you can add a background, you can choose a shape. And whenever you're done customizing your icon, you just have to click on get this icon. And you'll need to sign up to a free account, but then you can download as an SVG or as a PNG. And of course, you can also search for your icon on the search bar. Now, the second website is called iconfinder.com. And here they have icons, illustrations, 3D illustrations. They have stickers as well. So they got a bunch of options. They're all free as well. So for example, let's click on icons and here you have different styles, but the cool thing is that they're all consistent with each other. So you can pretty much download a whole library of icons with the same style. You just have to click on it and here you can download it as a PNG, as an SVG. And honestly, they are really, really cool. And you don't even have to download it. You can simply just copy to your clipboard and you're done. Now, the last website for icons, it's one that I really, really like. It's called flaticon.com. And again, they have a bunch of different styles. They got solid icons or line icons. And again, you just need to select the one that you like and click on copy PNG to copy it to your clipboard. Or you can also download it, but something that I really like is that they also have animated icons. So if you change here to animated icons and search for a word, 
for example, a heart icon. Here you'll have all of these icons that are already animated. So just click on it and click on download. You'll be able to preview the animation. It's incredible, honestly. Now, where to source color palettes for your presentations? My favorite website is coolers.co. And if you click on start generator, it will give you a random color palette. And if you hit the space bar, it will just create a different color palette and they will give you the hex code so you can copy them. But they also have another option called explore trending palettes. And these are color palettes that the community created. And if you hover your mouse on it, you'll see the hex code. But also if you click on the three dots here, you can open the palette so you can look a little bit closer at each color. And this is a great source for inspiration. And also if you click on the arrow here and then go to export palette, you can export it as an image or as a PDF. So make sure to check that out. And then the next website is called colorhunt.co. And here they have a bunch of different color palettes as well. And something that I really like about this website is that you can filter by category. So here they have different color palettes based on like, for example, summer. So this one is really, really cool as well. And once you click on it, you'll be able to see every color in detail. And again, you can download it as an image or just copy the hex codes. And I think they have some pretty fun color palettes. And for our last website, if you go to mycolor.space, here you can pick a color from their options. And if you click on generate, you will get a bunch of different color palettes based on that color that you pick, which is absolutely incredible. So that's it guys. Now you know my secrets as to where I find all of my templates, my fonts, my images, my icons. Don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you on my next video.